Hi everyone, Captain Mark, Captain Mark Reviews. I was in the market looking for a hat for hunting because it started this week. And I found these are the Power Cap 2.0 high output headlamp in a hat. So both these hats, the beanie hat and the ball cap, both have headlights in it that are very, very bright. So let's take a look at these caps here after the intro. <laughs> You can purchase this Power Cap 2.0 in the baseball cap with the Edge Realtree Camouflage on Amazon for $29.99. And I'll leave that quick link down below. And the Power Cap 2.0 Beanie, the Camouflage Edge with that, you can pick that up on Amazon also for $24.71. And I'll again leave the link down below. Some of the outstanding features it has on these it's optimum light field, it's water resistant. And it's washable. That's cool. I really love the pattern on this. This is called the Realtree Edge. Great camo pattern. And you can see the quality of this hat is awesome. It's heavy duty stitched in all corners, up and down. Great quality product here. As you can see here on the back, it has a heavy duty Velcro strap on there. This is not a cheapie. This is strong. It'll definitely hold it in place once you put it on your head. I'm going to show you where they keep the battery for this or the little power pack. So on your left side, when it's on your head, there's a flap in there. You flip it over and there's a piece of wire usually hanging out. And you just lightly pull it out and there's your battery pack. It takes two AA batteries and it's very easy to replace them. There's a little clip on the top and you just remove the clip. And it's very, very simple to put it back in. You just reverse the process, put it back into the nylon sleeve shoot the wires back inside, fold it over, and there you go. You don't even feel it on your head. And as you can see here in both the hats, it has an easy to follow drawing of how to install the batteries into the battery holder. All right, I wanna show you where the light is located on this type of hat. It's located under the bill towards the top edge of the hat. And you can see there, it is a V brown shape. You can see the actual lens on there and a little tab button to push it on and off. Now taking a look at the beanie cap, you can see it's a quality built cap. And on the front of it is the LED light. Again, you can see the lens and the little push button switch. And the beanie power cap is made of a soft, quiet nylon material, double stitched on all the seams, so quality there. Now the battery compartment on this is directly behind the light on the opposite side of the hat. All right, I'm going to show you here just how bright these lights are. Now, there's three modes to this. There's a high and a medium and a low. And the high is really bright, as you can see here. Great little lights on them. You can see here how it shines onto the table. So very bright on high mode. All right, I thought I'd give you the weight with the beanie cap first to see how much it weighs with the light and the battery installed. And you can see here it weighs 2.7 ounces. Not bad at all, hardly any weight to it. And let's get away to the ball cap. And you can see here that it weighs 4.1 ounces. So pretty light with a light on it and batteries in it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to convert your Power Cap 2.0 to an action camera lighted cap with a simple little mod kit. So you're only going to need a few items here to get this modification done to your Power Cap. And first you're going to need is some kind of drill and with a quarter inch bit on it. Also a magic marker. You're going to need an action camera mount with a quarter 20 hole on the bottom. You're going to need a fastening device, quarter 20 in size. This one's nice because it has some little ribs in there to keep it from moving around. And of course you're going to need a pair of pliers and you're going to need a measuring tape. First, we're going to take the hat and we're going to mark a reference point right on the edge of the bill that connects to the actual cap part. And you can see where the seam comes down and meets those two together. Just make a slight little dash right there to give you a reference point of center of the bill. And do the same thing on the other side. Flip the hat over and find the center seam there where the ball cap comes down and just meets the bill and put a little reference line there too. Okay, what I like to do is lay my fastener down and then set my action mount 
on top of it just to give me a reference on where it's going to lie on the other side. So I like to move my fastener down just about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the cap and the bill. The next part is very important. You need to make sure that the wires are out of the way that feed the light. And you can feel around in the bill and feel where you're going to drill a hole through. Mine was to the left of the hole where I was going to drill, so I wasn't really worried about it. Next, take your measuring tape and measure where the quarter 20 hole is going to go and according where your fastener is laying on there. Align your measuring tape with that little dash you mounted up at the top of the bill as your center of the bill and measure down from that and mark it with your magic marker because that's the spot you're going to drill your hole. Now take your drill and put your drill bit right on the little spot you marked on the underneath the bill and slowly drill up through it. Be careful not to rip the material, just go slow, very easy. This is probably the hardest part of this whole modification, very simple. Just ream it out a little bit, make sure it's a nice and clean hole. And then take your fastener, stick it into the hole, twist it in there. The threads will actually screw it right in for you. Go on the other side of the hat and push out the material away from the threads. Take your action camera mount and screw it on. Just that simple onto the quarter 20 screw coming through there. And I like to take the grips and just kind of twist it around till it's nice and tight. And you line it up so it's perfectly straight. You might take you a couple times to get it lined up straight to where you want it. But that's it. It's pretty simple. All right, I'm going to mount my DJI Osmo Action Camera on my PowerCap 2.0. Show you how it looks and how it functions. Look at that. That looks sharp. If you like what you've seen here and it helped you out anyway in modifying your PowerCap 2.0, or you enjoyed the video, why don't you give me the big thumbs up because it really does help the channel grow. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Man, I'm telling you, that looks great on there. You can see the image real well out of the back of that, which, of course, you're not going to see when it's on your head. But, yeah, works great. So I'm going to take it out and do a little hunting with it tomorrow morning and show you what it's like. Whew, it's a little cool this morning. So check it out. Really bright. Lights up the area really nice. A lot of looms on this. Great little hat to be walking with on your trails, going to your tree stand in the morning, or are you just working outside at night? So, pretty nice. All right, I'm just finishing my hunt up this morning. It wasn't too successful, but anyways, the cap is, the 2.0 power cap is the way to go. This thing, you could see in the video how well it lights up the path walking out to my tree stand in the morning. And out here hunting, man, this is great. Look at this, doesn't move at all. I can shake my head, hat stays in place. Great, and the little adapter I made for this thing is perfect. If you wanna adjust your uh, field of view with this, you don't have to guess and take it on and off. You just use your app on your phone and you can see where you're actually viewing. So it's very nice, easy to do, works great. Awesome little cap, nice little adapter for it, can't go wrong.